So, over time on Animal Jam, there has been many items. Some come back every year, while、well, some don't. Some came out in membership prizes and then after a few years have gone rare with time. Some had, were around for the first year Animal Jam came out as a game and then never came back. These, my viewers, are what we call rares or betas. Both of those two terms work, in my opinion. I know that, yes, some of the rare items came after beta days in Animal Jam, but like everyone just calls them betas. Get with the program already. Anyways, today I want to talk about the many items that used to be rare in beta, but then something happened to make them not as beta as they used to be. And there is actually a lot of different kinds of items that made this list. I guess they've brought back many rare items to the game. Anyways, with that, let's jump right into things. I'm Lehman Puppy, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get started with the video. So, I'm going to start this list off with a certain set piece item. And sets usually don't go for all that much in rarity or worth, but this one did. In fact, it went for quite a lot. And that set item is Bellette set, which is Bellette Tutu, Bellette Shoes, and Bellette Hat. It's a decent set item, even for today's standards, but it actually used to be worth way more. This item was first released in 2015 and then came back to the stores at around 2017 at Christmas, just before the New Year's for 2018. This set item was very popular for a long time. I mean, there was a point in time when the whole set was worth lowest dragon wings, which is crazy to even consider now. I never knew what each piece was worth on their own, but I did know that Tutu was the best out of all three of them. I actually had the set back when it was considered to be rare, and well, I wore it all the time. Now that it's not as rare as it used to be, no one wears it anymore. It's sort of sad how that works, but. Oh well. Next, I'm going to talk about DJ, Chops, Wind, and Viking Hat. I would put them into their own categories, but unfortunately, they all had the same sad fate for how they fell down in worth and value, so they're more or less the same. They were given out in mass amounts to people who won pack leadership boards. Basically, what happened is around August of 2018, Animal Jam gave out the DJ headset, Wind Up Key, Viking Hat for free. If their packs won the month's contest for their pack runs. And you may think that it's not a lot, but I'll stop you just there. Usually, the packs that won were maxed out or full, and at the time, all these rare items that I just listed were very uncommon, and honestly, even to just see them on the game was hard. So the fact that they all just randomly got released like that was a bit intense. At the time, the worth of them was very confusing. You would either get a big gain trade or a huge loss trade. There wasn't even really a fair trade because their overall worths were so hard to even value at anything. So it was definitely a big moment on the game. Before all of this, they were all worth huge amounts of rares. I can't even value them because they were the set values back then. People would say things like, oh, that is worth a DJ headset. To things like Royal Tier. Of course, back then, Royal Tier wasn't even worth as much as a DJ headset. I was just using it as an example. You had to add huge if you wanted to trade your Royal for a DJ headset, which is weird to say since obviously Royal Tier is worth way more than DJ. Anyways, at the time of this, I did have a DJ headset and I was kind of scrambling to trade it away before the worth just dropped even more. I did end up trading it for not such a great trade. But hey, it's better than the trades that you get for DJ nowadays. Next on the list is butterfly wings and flower crowns. So, of course, again, I'm putting two items on the same category, but they both came back to stores at the exact same time, which was in April of 2018, so it really only makes sense to just put them in the same category. Both of these items were well known and good betas, and people wanted them badly. Basically, they were the popular and wanted items on the game. Some people that were very beta would try to collect all of the flower crown colors just to flex on people. Saying that out loud makes it seem really funny, but hey, it's true. Like, whenever you saw a flower crown, it was always such a good feeling. They looked so rare, and guess what? They were rare. Butterfly wings were way more than flower crowns at the time. It all just depended on your rarity level to acknowledge that. Some of the butterfly wing colors were extremely rare, while others were on the lower scale. Like at the time, I could only afford the lowest pink color, or if I was lucky, the yellow blue one, which I used to have back when they were rare. I traded them long before they even returned to the stores, which I'm really glad about. I did have like two flower crowns when they did return, but 
Those were my least concern at the time. It's sad that both of these items even came back in the first place. I look at old trades of butterfly wings or flower crowns and I think about all the good memories of them being considered to be beta. Next on the list, we have Raccoon Tail. Yeah, I know, I assume a lot of you were waiting for this one, so don't worry about it because yeah, I did put this on the list. How can you not? I mean, it has to make the list. I feel like everyone knew of Raccoon Tail and how it's worth so, so much. And now it's just not worth that much anymore. And that makes me and a lot of others feel kind of sad. They used to be so popular and wanted on the game. Literally everyone wanted one or had it as their dream item. I actually wanted a raccoon tail and of course I couldn't afford it at first. So I had to wait and work up and eventually I traded for one. And then when I finally got that raccoon tail, I mean, it was so awarding. The color was a white tip for anyone that's wondering. And I loved it so much. The fact that it was worth a lot and there wasn't many around on the game made me feel so much prouder. Back then, raccoon tail was worth as much as a low to a medium bow tie, depending on the color. Which is hard to even really consider, but it's true. They were worth that much. But then, as many of you know, it soon decreased in worth. And it never officially came back on an exact date or anything like that. It was something else that actually happened instead. You see, Animal Jam decided that they would give them out as prizes to people who won their contests on Instagram. Which in prospect sounds really awesome and harmless, but it soon went a little too far. Unfortunately, the amounts of raccoon tails that would be given out were a ton, and that started decreasing their worth as time went on. The more there is of an item, the less it is valued at in the game. That's just how the rarity system works. So it only made sense that they would go down in worth. I guess that I just miss the old times with my raccoon tails, that's all. Anyways, that's all for this video's list. If you have any other beta and rare items that you remember were worth more, only to go down in value, then please comment them down below. It's very likely that I missed a bunch, and if so, I'll make a part two. Anyways, it's been Lehman Puppy, and I'll see you all next time.